Hey, and welcome to a whole new adventure with a comic book haul. So this week, I am... Uh, actually, this is last week actually. I'm still making my way through another backlog, but yes, getting there. Um, so this is a... Well, to start off with, I think it's... Everything's from... Forbidden Planet? Yeah, pretty much everything's from Forbidden Planet, this one. Um... So first up is Fantastic Four, Reckoning War, number 43. Um, I mean, Fantastic Four number 43, um, we have uh, the crossover event, um, Reckoning War. Um, yeah, my, gosh, this run is a quite good run. Um, it must have been when, what was it, 2016 that it first started this run? But yeah. Um, excited that it's heading into Reckoning War um, years in the making. Um, yeah, there's that. And oh, I've got this. Wait, I'm no, I did go to. Gosh, because I remember. Hmm, that's odd. I'm pretty sure I got something from Gosh. Well, I don't remember what. Oh, anywho. So. The funny thing is, I went, saw this in Forbidden Planet, but went to Gosh to even up the um, cost between the shops and um, and spread the love between the shops. And got to Gosh, but didn't have this, so to backtrack to Forbidden Planet to get this again. Um, but yes, very excited. Um, this is She-Hulk um, printing some of the issues from the sensational She-Hulk run. And um, subtitled Breaking the Fourth Wall. Um, but yes, so this this prints reprints um, Sensational She Hulk number one to twelve, and She Hulk Ceremony number one and two. Um, and materials from Solar Adventures number fourteen, Marvel Comics Presents number eighteen. And Marvel Fanfare number 48. So yeah. Um, what I... Something I don't get is that it says Volume 3. Um, which I don't get because it's... Is it Volume 3 in the Epic Collection? Of, I don't think there is another Epic Collection. I know that there's like Volume 1 and 2 that they did on the Sensational She-Hulk run. Um, but I think that pretty much reprints some of the issues that are printed in this one as well, which is strange. Um, so I don't know where Volume 3 comes from. Or maybe there is an ep another epic collection. I don't know if there's another, another epic collection. Um, but yeah, I do love, very much love the John Burns run on She-Hulk. It's like this very... She goes on this really crazy adventures and then there's these outlandish things, crazy things that happen in this series. Um but yeah, very fun. Um and next one up is the all new, all different Savage Avengers. Um I think the Strange was on the previous um lineup from this, but with this lineup we have I think um, he is Weapon H, I think. Um, there was like this Weapon H issue where he was facing got up against a um, Wolverine. Um, and then you got Cloak and Dagger in the background. So you got Cloak and Dagger in the background, and you got um, Anti Venom. Um, oh no. For the character's name. So this character here, well not, no, Daredevil Electra, um, Black Knight, I think. Uh, he's also in um, the Eternals, Dean Whitman, Dean Whitman, and um, I think he is Black Knight, um, Deathlock, and Conan. It's so. Say so funny, I know Deathlock more than Black Knight. 
Oh, actually, you're saying that now Deathlock was in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But yes. But we're not in this form, though. Um, so yeah, that's the all new, all different Savage Avengers. The second, I find, like, find it like it's a um, mismatch of characters that forms a team. But yeah, very excited to see where they take this team. Uh, next one up is Marvel Voices, Identity Number 1. Um, I wanted to also get the stand cover, but um, Forbidden Planet had like a few a few issues and they were like a bit... Mm. So I thought I might as well just get this variant mission, which looks very cute. It's got Sunfire right in front, um, drawn by... Sake? Um, yeah, it's a very cute drawing. I like it. I want. I went, also went to Gosh Comics to see if they got the sun cover, but they didn't have have it. But yes, Marvel Avengers. Not Marvel Avengers. Marvel Voices number one, um, which celebrates. I think Asians. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I think so. If it's called Shang Chi. Um, this issue features Shang-Chi, um, Shang-Chi here, who's the other ones, Miss Marvel, um, who's the others, gosh, uh, Miss Marvel, I should have got the stand cover because it would, uh, Mantis, Mantis is here, um, who else? Oh um, the other character is Wong as well. Okay, yeah. Uh, Marvel, uh, Marvel Voices Identity number one, featuring some fire. Uh, Ms. Marvel, Shang Chi, Wong, and I think that's pretty much it. For everyone, yeah. Okay, so that's that. Shadow War Zone, uh, number one. Um, and Batman coming to digital and 4K on the May 24th and the back. Um, featuring tales from the Fort War Zone. I think I've got a few issues for the War Zone, but I haven't actually read them. So that, yeah, that's that. Shadow War Zone number one. Next up is Rivers of London, Deadly Ever After. He was actually signing on the day as well, but um, I had to rush off. Um, I had something in the evening, so I had to actually rush off and not get this signed. Um, but yes, um, that's very exciting. Um, I have yet actually to read the books, um, but I have through the comics which is a very fun very fun series to read yeah so that's that and the artworks very splendid as well da, 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 da. and Nightwing number 92 very ignition um um I thought this was a fun cover and um yep yeah, there you go um where is this? Oh, I thought it was in. Um, there you go. And um, next one up is Shaolin Cowboy. Wait, I did go to Gosh Comics. Uh, I think I got this from. Did I get this from Gosh Comics? No, I didn't. Oh, no, Dobby. Anywho, Shaolin Cowboy. Cruel to be kin. kin. Cruel to be kin. So that's the, that's the front, and here's the back. So the back reads, um, The Shaolin Cowboy tries green tea diplomacy to broker peace between the gerrymanders and the haymasters in the disputed valley of impossible canyons. For his efforts, both sides try to kill him. Oh, uh, that's charming. So yeah, there you go. And you've got very cute artwork there. Um, and yeah, this is on sale, so 
599 to 299 um, can't go wrong there um, I used to actually collect these you know, these pocket books um, still love that they still do they still do pocket books? but yeah I love love the pocket books they're like small collectible it looks great on the shelves stacked upon stacked next to each other and I still have a couple that I've got since when I was in my mid-teens, actually. But yes, that's that. This one is X-Men, the, the Teen Years? Is it Teen Years? I can't see this piece of skill. Oh, whoops, um, X-Men, the Hidden Years. Um, World Within Worlds. And this reprints, what does it reprint? Um, this one reprints the Hidden Years, number 14 to 22. Um, yeah. I don't think I've read any, any of the hidden years. So yeah, there's that. Um, next one up is I Hate This Place. Um, looks horror. Looks horror. Um, excited to dive into this. I have no idea what this is about. Um, but I also like just trying out comics, first issues, try it out, if I like it, continue. Um, that's the front, and here's the back. Uh, the back is a... It looks like an A, but it's just got a, like a house just there. And, um, someone's being touched on the back of the neck, and whatever they're doing is looking like they're causing this person to... I don't know, scream out, like, eyes black, blanked out, um, cool, and you've got two people there actually, um, yeah, not sure what this is about, but, um, give it a try. Next one up is Duo, um, is this a variant cover? No, it is a standard cover, Duo, and number one, um, Another issue I don't know about. Um, oh, always excited to give anything a try. So yeah, there we go. And that is it, pretty much. I think, yeah, pretty much for this week. And I think got the another haul coming, and also MCM Comic Con. Very excited to see what I can get from there. I think the last one I went to was in October last year. So yeah, excited to see where that will take me. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.